Hey everybody, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios. Welcome to today's tutorial. I'm sorry I haven't made one of these in a long time. I've been going through um, a lot of things right now. Uh, but I moved out of my house and I've been um, finding a new place to live. And thank God for family and thank God for um, friends. You know, in the future when you guys move out, you're going to need to find a place to stay. And you need to start, you know, getting your act together. But anyway, at the moment, we're going to be talking about the... UI elements we're gonna be talking about the user interface with the heart bar flashing and the name and then we're gonna have to add a score with uh, a big little text here and then we're also gonna add the go animation which is the start animation in the beginning and we're also gonna put that all into a composition to keep it organized and so let me show you how that would look so we're gonna to go to documents and find where the file was saved sorry and I like to organize everything but I know where everything is which is good Preview, scroll animation. And if you look at this, it was really quick, but I kind of made the little go animation about one second long. It says go, and then it says Lightcast Studios with my heart bar flashing in and out, and the score going in and out as well. Eight one, you know, eight one four six two one with three little zeros. I want to remember that score, but I don't remember. Um, the score may change for my tutorial, but you know that's how it is anyway so we also have a little blue border around the the edge to kind of make it look a little more uh pixelated i don't know it just adds a little bit of an effect to the edges and so first off before we do all of this stuff before we do the go animation we're going to make the heart animation on uh, photoshop so what we're going to do is we're simply going to go into photoshop And we're going to open the files, and I will give you the files in the description. Um, I'll give you this one, and I'll also give you this one if you don't want to do it yourself. But I'm going to show you how to do it yourself by using the uh, marquee tool. We're going to find the image, and we're going to scroll in a little bit so we can work with this a little bit better. And we're going to use our marquee tool to cut out the edge heart piece. You know, you notice in the video it, it started blinking back and forth because I was using a larger piece and a smaller piece as well. So if I use, if I turn on my canvas real quick, change the, our canvas out how I do it image layer blah 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 blah. okay maybe I don't know but I want to select a large part of it the reason being is I want to make sure I have the entire piece of the edge control C and then we're gonna open the new and we're gonna make this large part and we're gonna click OK so now we're gonna paste it and it will have the little heart edge um, outline on the background. And what we're going to do is make the image a little bit larger than it was uh, before. We don't want to make it too small, but we don't want to make it too large either. So make sure this is set to nearest neighbor so you have the uh, resampling correct when you resize the image without pixelating it. Set the percentage to about 135 and click OK. Now we have the actual size of the heart and we're going to click File, Save, Save As. I'm going to overwrite this piece just because and click OK. Now, we have that edge set correctly. We're going to click X and close Photoshop. Now we're done setting up the hearts. We're going to import the files in the, into After Effects by simply going to File, Import, Import Files, and drag both of them. And now it's just going to import both of them. Click OK. And we're going to make a new folder called UI Elements. UI Elements. Cool. We actually should move these all into their own thing, but yeah. Anyway. Sticker is the other one, and Heart's Large Blink. I think that's the first one, yeah. Click both, drag them in. And we're going to work with these for a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag the sticker and the hearts into the composition and align them. We're going to move, actually we're going to move both of them at the same time to where we want. And if you don't know where to put it, I had the image aligned perfectly with the edge of the title and action safe. Now you want to make sure you have this just in case you ever want to pan and pan and view. Uh, usually in movies they have the main scene and then they have the main focus on the edges. And so what titled and action safe is is for people who like to do um, there's this thing I think it's called pan and tilt. And there's also things called um, like scan because back in the day when films were were filmed on widescreen 35 millimeter uh, or widescreen lenses, the biggest thing was. Um, was all up was just making sure you had the right borders and when new new film started new film started being made um, the standard was changed and so all the old films the video had a lot of uh, black and a lot of um, excess stuff that wasn't that wasn't there so what um, cinematographers cinematographers would do 
was they would cut the movie and pan and tilt wherever the uh, the main focus of the video was but the, again the edges of the video was also really important because you wanted to get the background um, in movies where there was like big battle scenes and maybe you're missing part of the action when you cut off all the edges in 640 by 40 v, uh, 48 40 480 p video so um, that's what title and action save is for but for our purposes we're going to be using it to uh, align the hearts and the UI elements and things like that so we're going to select this and drag it a little bit lower we're going to line it up to here and we're also going to line it up to this area but we want to have time to have a space for these uh, thing as well the, uh, the, the, the title at the top where it's going to say Lightcast Studios or the character name for yours we're going to drag over we want to lock these layers because we don't want to mess with them um, again because that's important and what we're going to do is, like I already did, you saw me kind of aligning the uh, the hearts right here. Once we have them aligned to a point where we like it, we're going to move it. We're going to scroll in to make sure we got these edges as well. So kind of like right there. Scroll up to see the top. A little more. Right about there. And then this part will kind of just stick out like that. You'll see the edge that I was keeping with my Photoshop import. And then we're going to make the title Lightcast Studios. Lightcast Studios. And if you guys wanted the blue border, make sure you have border uh, set to right color and you make the border stroke um, to one pixel or however large. You make it huge, but it will look really weird. I like one, so. Oops. One. One pixel. And scroll it there. Select all and drag it down to right about to eh, a little bit smaller, I guess. Right about there. Now if we scroll out, oh, <laughs> can just align it and make it look really nice and even uh, with everything else. We might want to move these down just a little bit more. Oh, hold on, I don't like that. There we go. Just about to there. And again, it's just all about working with it to see what you like the best. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add the score element on the other side. We're going to work with the animation in a, a little bit after we've done the score uh, scoreboard. I don't remember what the score was. I think it was like 814627 or something, right? 0008146627. Uh, zero, 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 Oops. 627, right? I don't know. It's probably wrong. But anyway, it's fine. We want to make this a little bit larger, right about there, because the score is really important, and that's going to be the main focus of the little animation, because that's what the game, um, you're just trying to get as much points as you want, right? So it only makes sense. Score in capitals, um, and we're going to shrink that back to 35, and we're going to drag it over to about the edge right about there, and now if you can see, we have the score, and we also have the uh, elements from the other side, which is the hearts and the, the name. Just a little bit. Yeah. And if you line this fit up to 100%, that's about it for there. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to change the, uh, the blinking on the actual hearts. So the easiest way to do this is simply importing all this stuff into After Effects or in, into a new composition. Control C, new composition. UI elements. Click OK. About 15, right? I don't know. Give or take. Control V. And we're going to uh, get the big piece and the little piece. These kind of imported backwards, so we just drag them over to the top, drag them to the top, you know. Make it look like it where it's supposed to be. There we go. And then it should be fine there. And we're going to make it blink. So we're going to lock this layer, which is going to be the main focus there. And we're going to leave these two here. So we're going to lock these two layers so they don't move and you can't mess with them. The only thing you can mess with is that. Um, and the light cast is we want to lock that too. So the only thing we're going to be doing is messing with this and just making it blink in and blink out, blink in and blink out. So it's going to disappear um, when we use it. So we can kind of move it to the top so we can work with it separately. It doesn't matter because it's on the other side, so the layers won't interact with each other. Um, then we're going to lock it 
We're going to drag this down to about 5 frames, and you can look at this yourself and just manage the frames. See where they are at. 3, 4, 5. We're going to copy. Copy that and paste it 100 times. I don't know. I think if you hold it, it makes 50. It makes 49. And I'm just going to... We should do another one. Yeah, 70. Let's make it about 150 of them. So just control V, control C and V and hold V and it should make a good amount of them. It usually makes them in about in uh, pretty good uh, amounts. Control C, control V, like that, and it should sequence them to a good amount. And just to be safe, we're going to make a little more. So control C, control V. And we made about 140 of them, give or take. You know, delete these if you don't want them. Just keep it even. So, we have 140 of these frames in 5 um, frame increments, and we're going to sequence them just like we did with the skeleton animation movement. Uh, we're going to select all of them, so going from bottom to top, selecting that one, holding shift, scrolling up, and clicking. Then we're going to click, we're going to right click and click keyframe assistant, sequence layers, and click OK. And now we have successfully sequenced the layers to our liking, and we're going to delete exactly half of that, so 140. We're going to delete 70, um, 70 of them, so we're going to delete this one right right about here. We're going to delete this one. Um, don't hold it. We want to hold control for this. And move up, do that, move up, do that, and delete every other frame so it blinks every five frames. Get what I'm saying? And I'm going to do this until I reach the top. It shouldn't take very long because it's only 140 frames, which means you're only deleting 70 layers. It shouldn't take very long. So I'll get back to you guys when we've successfully gotten all of those. Okay, we're just about done with uh, all of these layers selected, and we're just going to click delete. And now we have exactly 70 frames, and we can just look at them blink back and forth. I moved up so I can use uh, see more frame frame width, and you'll see them blink at the crest zero. And it renders all of them. It's playing in real time, 25 frames per second, and you'll notice that it's blinking, blah, 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 with the little line over crossing, and it looks perfect. It was very simple to do. And it didn't take very much effort. I don't know exactly how long it's been recording for, but yeah, 12 minutes all together so far. And now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this, actually. We're going to delete these. We don't need these anymore, but we have the UI element for that. And we're going to add the UI element interface into this. So I put that in the UI elements folder. I didn't mean to do that. Close it and drag this over. And now we, bam, have that set up correctly. Everything's blinking really cool, stuff like that. Very satisfied. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make the go uh, start animation a little bit less than one second. So I think it's about two frames um, for 25 uh, frames altogether. I don't know exactly what that is, about 15 uh, frames altogether. So we're going to go to text. Again, text is very helpful. We're going to make a go with a question mark or an exclamation point. Control C, Control V, or right here, Control C, Control V. And we're make one of them. A little bit larger, about there. I didn't make this one very much large. 100 and there we go. 140, I guess. That works. And the second one, we're going to make that one all of it. Come on. There you go. About there. And we're going to line them up with the middle, so we're going to move this over so we don't get that in the way. Uh, right in the middle there. Just about there, and then we're going to do it the same with the other one. So, meh. Come on, buddy. There we go. And we're going to move it up and line it up. So, if you look at it five, four or five frames later, it should just blink like that. Um, but we want to make it two frames, so every two frames it just kind of disappears really quickly. And now we're going to drag it over, go to the end, drag it down to like two frames or one frame, doesn't really matter. And then we can move with it later. Two and two. And now what we're going to do is make sure you got this correct. It's going to start like this, or we're going to do it this way. We're going to load this one here, and it's going to do that. So if you want these to sequence correctly, you want to select both layers by going to this and this. Control C, Control V, 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 about 14 frames. And we're going to select it from the bottom to the top again, like we did before. Control C, Control, or um, I'm sorry, Shift, and then bottom to top, sequence layers, and click OK. 
and it should sequence them perfectly. And you'll see that they just kind of go back and forth just like that for about one second, I believe. I'm not sure exactly, but you can check yourself. It's not a lot of work. There we go. A little more than one second. So if we press play, it's rendering it. And if I start over from the beginning, it'll do that. So now we've successfully created the Go element and the UI element, simply just having a little fun just like that. And we can move this over to the folder or the composition with that. So we're going to just control, um, control X, U elements, control V, you know. Um, but we selected that the wrong way. So control Z, go from the top, 14, to the bottom, 0. Control or, ah, ah. Control X, Control X, Control V. There we go. Now that's set up correctly. Cool. Well, I guess that's it for this tutorial. Again, what we did was we made the UI element, the heart blink with Photoshop, and uh, just kind of sequenced the layers, and we made some text a little bit on the top. Really quickly, we made a composition to put them all in, and UI elements, and then we made the go start animation, sequencing the layers by making two different layers, two different sizes with different border sizes and things like that. And we had them blinking about 14 frames, which is about one second all together. And it just blinked perfectly in sequence and moved with the character so it looks like the video game is correct. Um, I might have another episode. I'm not sure exactly. But this is the episode where we talked about all this stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I'm glad it was one of the shorter videos. I'm sure you guys didn't want it too long. My last video was very long. Um, but again, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, this is Lightcast Studios, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.